So far, I've made about four four drawings, which essentially means four different exhibitions and four different objects that travel around and that move and that sort of can circulate throughout uh, a city, a country, or um, you know, internationally. And two of those are here in Cleveland, one of which I think is behind me, which you can see, and the other is farther behind me. I don't know if you can see that either. But um, yeah, we, we start with the floor. If, if the space is 5,000 square feet or if it's 100 square feet, that's where we begin. Um, whatever shape it is, doesn't matter. That ends up being the shape of the drawing. So we cover the entire floor with paper. We secure, secure it straight up to the wall. Uh, where the floor meets the wall, we cover, we cover the entire floor. Uh, we secure it with masking tape, um, lots of masking tape. And then once it's secure and once it's sort of in place, we paint on top, on top of the paper. And we paint because, number one, because it seals the paper. It may, and it also gives it a little extra weight, it makes it a little stronger. And the, the second reason why we paint is because we need to, the graphite powder takes to paint better than it takes to masking tape or than it takes to rosin paper in its natural form. So it's just a way, it's a functional thing, really. Um, but after that, the act of the graphite going on the floor essentially is really the drawing. So that's where we just literally pour the material out, we dance, we rub, we scrub. It's a lot of labor, it's a lot of work, it's, um, but it also can be fun. But it's exhausting, I think, especially on a large scale. So it's just rubbing, constantly rubbing, constantly rubbing, the entire floor. After that stage is done, we take a break, and we come back, and we sweep, and we vacuum. And after that, we sort of uh, go around the edges of the gallery, and we create, and we sort of just use an exacto knife. We cut really, really precisely to the edge of the shape of the floor. We get rid of all the excess um, material, and that's how it's sort of installed. After the first exhibition, I realized I had to deinstall this thing, and I realized I had to move it because there was another show coming up. So I folded it up. We deinstalled it. It was a bit of a process because it was huge, but we realized it acted it seemed like it's basically a large tarp. Um, so it was foldable, and we could sort of fold it about eight, nine, ten times, and it became this thing that was about maybe four feet by four feet, and maybe about five inches thick, so maybe 50, 60 pounds, and it was very movable. And so I, so I decided I'll just take this back to my studio and uh, let it live for a while. So that's what I did. After a couple of years of, of the work changing, of it being in my studio, I realized I hadn't seen what it looked like, and I, and I also had another op opportunity for an exhibition. And I decided, well, maybe I don't think about making me work for this, maybe I just use this exhibition as an opportunity to see what this drawing looks like, and to see what this thing kind of can do. So I think once I had another opportunity for an exhibition, I just put that drawing inside that room and opened it up. It was a happy accident that the drawing itself was about a thousand square feet and the space that the exhibition was in was about 800 square feet. So automatically I was dealing with space and uh, scale in a different way and understanding what this thing was as a sculpture, what this thing was as a drawing in, in a space but also like physically and formally like what am I supposed to do with this? And um, installing that show the most important thing that I got from that was most what was uh, was the wrestling with the work was the poking and the prodding and the pulling and the ripping. Um, it was very physical, and um, the installation, the ending installation, wasn't necessarily the most interesting. I think it was the action of working with the drawing physically that became the most um, satisfying. And I think from there on, I realized that this thing could keep moving. This thing could keep happening again and again. And uh, with each ex exhibition, with each sort of uh, ship shipment of the drawing, uh, the work changes and um, develops characteristics of all the places it's been and uh, culminates to what, what it is at that moment. So right now, I've kind of seen, I mean, it feels like the drawings themselves are those kind of living things that could be anywhere. and. Um, so I'm at the moment where I've sort of seen the birth of the drawing in a particular space, in a location. And I've, I can see the life of the drawing. And I think primarily 
I think what I'm interested in long term is to see the depth of the drawing within the exhibition format. But we'll see if that works. I'm not sure if that's if it's going to happen that way. But um, that seems like a natural course for a drawing.